everyone, welcome to Home and School. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of Memoria Press's Mammals program. All right, so today we're going to go through um, the Mammals set from Memoria Press. This is scheduled for third grade. Um, my son is seven technically going into second grade, but he's a pretty advanced reader and writer. So I decided to go ahead and do mammals with him this year as um, for our science. Um, so these are all the things that are included with the mammals program. So we have this book, What is a Mammal? We also have What is the Animal Kingdom? And this is the student workbook um, and the teacher guide. And then we also have the world of mammals. Okay, so I'll start with this one. This is the world of mammals. Um, so this is actually kind of like a reader, I guess. Um, it has sections on all different types of mammals. So you can see in the table of contents here, we have, um, yeah, all sorts of mammals, egg laying mammals, marsupials, insect eaters, bats, ant eaters, rabbits, rodents, squirrels and chipmunks, deer, pigs, antelope, horses, elephants, cats, dogs, yeah, uh, dolphins, great whales, lemurs, um, all different types of monkeys and gibbons, chimpanzees, and then we also have mammals classification. Um, so let's just take a look. There's some good pictures in here too. Let's see, we have an introduction, egg laying mammals. That's cool. Marsupials. This is almost like, um, a mammal's dictionary. <laughs> um, my daughter, my five-year-old, has actually already picked this up a few times looking at all the pictures in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> so there's like one or two pages on each, in each section some good pictures, just lots of details and information about these, all these different types of mammals, where they live. Then we have a mammal's classifications. So marsupials, monotremes, centaurs. Huh. That's interesting. So that way we can classify the mammals Cool. This is a little bit out of my, my department, but that looks really interesting. I'll definitely be learning some things along with my son. Um, the other readers I'll do next. So we have, what is the animal kingdom? I've seen this book before as well. Here's the table of contents. What is an animal? Kingdoms of living things, simple animals, worms, mollusks, arthropods, Animals with backbones, fish, amphibians, reptiles. Yeah, so all different animals in the animal kingdom. So we're really spending a lot of time on learning how to um, basically like sort and classify animals into their different species and um, and kingdoms. Here is the other reader. This one is What is a Mammal? Contents, um, it's what is a mammal? A mammal's body, mammal's milk, um, marsupials, primates, rodents, carnivores, insectivores. So again, now we're classifying the mammals. What makes it an animal a mammal? And then all of those things, different groups of mammals, that's helpful.
yeah, I'm definitely going to be learning along with him. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so those are the different reader books, informational books, and then we also have uh, the teacher guide and the student workbooks. So in the student workbook, so a, um, each lesson lasts about a week. Um, there's 30 weeks. So we're going through what is the animal kingdom? What is a mammal? And then all the different types of mammals. Looks like there's a few types of mammals that we spend a few weeks on. Um, but yeah, so it's a 30 week ish, depending on how short or long you want to make it. Some of these you might want to take a little longer on. And then it looks like it also has journal pages. So let's take a look. Uh, pronunciation guide. That is helpful. <laughs> teaching guidelines. So we have, um, some teaching guidelines going over. So these are, the, what are the main texts? Um, how to go over the lessons, how to do review, how to handle drawing, um, how to handle the journal pages. Okay. Lesson one. So it tells them, read this, and we're going to answer these questions together. And then we're also going to draw and label one of the animals from this section. So they pick an animal and draw and label it. Continuing with lesson one, we also have some fill in the blanks, circle the correct answer, some more questions, and then these are the things they want you to review at the end of the week. That is a whole week. So you're not doing all of this, probably not doing all of these questions and things in one day. Um, I think usually the way they schedule it is like two days a week maybe three days a week. I think it's two days a week. Um, so I believe when I was looking through the curriculum manual, it's um, on the first day you read, you do the questions together. Um, on the second day you would review and do the drawing. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. There's also quizzes and tests, um, and those are kind of, those are scheduled in as well. So that's lesson one, that's week one. Le week two, we're doing, now we're reading what is a mammal. Again, questions to answer. We're gonna label the parts of the mammal, of parts of this horse, more questions to answer, another thing to read, and then the review at the end of the week. So it's just those two pages, it looks like, this week. There's a lot of drawing, which I think is fun. I don't, I don't know how much my son is going to enjoy all the drawing. We will see. <laughs> but it looks like each week is two, two pages, maybe three. It looks like there's drawing almost every week. I like that also that it tells you what to read right in here in the student workbook so that when my son is going through it, he can see exactly what he needs to read. Okay, so there's the last lesson, lesson 32 pages, and then we have journal pages. So these are some journal pages to use throughout the year as well. Okay, that is the student workbook. The teacher guide is going to be pretty similar, except the answers are filled in. So again, you have the table of contents. Um, it also has the quizzes and tests and the answer key for the quizzes and tests in here. Um, okay, let's see. Again, pronunciation guide, teaching guidelines for you. 
And here we go right into the answers. So you see it's, it's laid out exactly the same, except it has answers filled in. If an answer is a little bit more open-ended, they might not have an answer there. It might say something like, answers may vary. But yeah, it's laid out exactly the same as the student workbook, just with answers. Then you have journal pages in here too, as well. And then here you go, the quizzes and tests. So quizzes look like they're one page. It's a couple of answers, fill in the blanks, circle, correct answer, short answers, no drawing. <laughs> and the test, oh, this, yeah, so the first test is three pages. Yeah. And then you have the answer key for the quizzes and tests as well. All right, so that is the mammal set from Memoria Press. Hopefully this is helpful for you. If you have any other questions, um, definitely leave your questions and thoughts down below in the comments section and I can hopefully answer as best I can. We haven't used this yet, but we will be using this this coming year and I'll definitely probably do an update at some point of how, how things are going for my seven-year-old. Thanks so much for watching today. We will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye now.